YouTubers and again with the uh, going surroundings video three. Uh, yeah, it's a nice, beautiful march. I mean, if you look at this, I mean, hidden dangers. Okay, what can be hidden dangers in the woods? You gotta look at the pros and cons of everything. Um, one hidden danger is we have animals like uh, snakes, bears, and skunks. Yes, we do got skunks here. I mean, can you imagine a skunk coming right into your camp and spraying you? <laughs> That's kind of like, you know, that's the whole thing of this video is telling you hidden dangers and pros and cons of everything. Well, um, but survival and everything. Woods. All right. Good area to survive in. Look at it. It's always a good area to survive in. And everything like that. So we all have to learn to survive and we're not preppers not trying to be a prepper or anything like that who cares about prepping right now you know anything numerous of anything could happen and you have to bug out it doesn't necessarily have to be a catastrophe or anything you know we've got to learn the simple things of life can be enjoyed more than feared. I mean, I just hope this is not all marsh up here. <laughs> yeah, this is the same place I took you the second time in the second vi video. Um, as you know, my music is playing in the background and like that. Um, for a lot of things, for a lot of reasons. And back at the subject of woods yes we got bears got skunks uh, squirrels uh, every now and then I see a raccoon now and then you know what I'm really concerned is about bears you know in the mountains the bears come down and go into rural areas like this for certain reasons no, one reason is food. It's kind of like spring. It's a nice day and everything. So this is what happens. They come down after long hibernation. They come down and want food. What's the first thing when you come out of hibernation? I'm hungry. I gotta take a crap. So they take a crap in the woods, blah, 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 and then they forage for food. Just like humans, they have to forage for their food and everything like that. So they have to find where their food source is at. And that's common knowledge. That is definitely knowledge for survival. Now, they sleep all winter long. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They sleep all the long. They eat before winter comes. I mean, they eat. They eat things that they, they, humans will not think of eating, you know. So here they are. They eat. They store that fatness for winter. And they curl up in a nice felt ball and go to sleep. Yeah, I wish I could hibernate like that. I can bypass all winter, get into spring, right in the middle of spring when it's nice and warm. Have fun. You know, but humans can't do that. We are up and around and movable. We're not uh, hibernators. We do not hibernate. I wish we could, but we do not. Uh, all right. Oh. But anyways, <coughs> everything has to be considered. Pros and cons, especially what happens if you run up on a bear. Two things might run when you 
find out you'll run up on a bear. Two things. He might just bypass you, or he might think you food. You know, or you come in his domain, you are challenging him, and bears do not like to be challenged. I know that for a fact. And I've seen documentaries where bears were being challenged by other bears. It's a maw fest. They're after each other, pulling, biting, clawing. I mean, it's like hell. What kind? You know, hell, they're very territorial. I've seen them bears fish. And they swoop, they stick their paw down in there, swoop out a fish, kick it up on the shore, then they eat it. Bones and all, guts and all. They don't do like a human would do. De gut a fish, take out all that nasty part, cut off the head. No, bear says, <laughs> and on you sitting there going, what the? You know, he don't care. He says, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Yeah, that is totally real life. If you actually watch a bear attack something in the wild, you would have sit, sit there and say, damn, that guy's you know, that bear is very, very brutal. You know, and they can be brutal to humans. And that's one of the pros and cons of the woods. You gotta know where you live, you know, what you do in your woods situation. You know. You know, I'm trying to find an area that would be suitable for you know, my training and everything. Oh shit. What's this smell? It does smell like swamp, but uh, I think it smells like something else. Damn. I might have to rethink what I'm going during the winter. I'm doing the summer months, you gotta rethink all this. This way, let me, let me find this area right here. Check this area out. See if it's not soupy or swampy. It was different looking last time I looked over here. Consider this thinking the next time. It looked better than this last time. Hmm. Well, anyways. I'm always thinking areas to go and do my stealthing in, and frankly, I gotta look at areas that I can do it in. Without all the concept of. Damn. All the. Pros and cons of everything here. <laughs> but no, like I said, knowing surroundings, you have to know everything. Last year, when this was, when snow was everything around here, areas looked pretty good. I thought this was flat land. It's not flat land. It's mostly swamp area, too. <laughs> I think I found an area. But I gotta check it out, really. No, oh, this is checking this out so I can do my survival videos. Let's 
setting up camp and stuff like that. I can do a three-point survival video here. What do you think? Leave a comment. That's the end of the journey.